In the midst of the controversy caused by cell phone video showing Phoenix police officers holding a young African-American couple with their children at gunpoint, the city of Phoenix found itself having to vote for a new budget, which includes millions of dollars for Phoenix police. Dozens of concerned residents took the opportunity to ask council member members to hold off on a vote, demanding the officers involved are fired. Cronkite News reporter Tanaya Williamson was there and tells us what happened inside the chambers. Tanaya? Well, Gabe, so many people showed up, an overflow room had to be used to accommodate them. And after hours of public testimony, the council made its decision. And I want to thank Jeff Barton for working on this budget for many months. Yes. Williams? Yes. Waring? Right. Yes. The budget passes seven to two. Have fun trying to sleep tonight, guys. By a vote of 7-2, to two, the Phoenix City Council approved a new budget Wednesday night, despite objections from residents. My family was harassed by police back in 2009. When we approved things like sound cannons and military-grade weapons, it lets the whole force know where the priorities are. Testimony after testimony recounted difficult and at times deadly interaction with Phoenix police officers. Most of those who spoke at the meeting opposed passing the new budget. It's stop our work so that he can sit there and say that he has the police back. And guess what? Come election time, the votes come because that's what they remember. Which includes $721 million for the department. I don't want anybody in Phoenix also uh, fearing for their life. If they're black, if they're brown, if they're LGBTQ, if they're anything. Residents are asking for accountability. Increased use of body cameras, better training of officers, vetting of recruits, and an improved reporting system for bad behavior. They also called again for the firing of the officers involved in an aggressive encounter with a couple and their children over a shoplifting accusation shown in a cell phone video gone viral. We need to hold these officers accountable. I'm a licensed professional counselor. If I display unethical behavior at any time, my license is revoked. How come there is this? Why do we keep allowing? However, despite the passionate pleas to hold off on a vote, the council ultimately gave it the green light. Some council members assuring the public, despite the difficult situation, they hear their concerns. I know that it's not easy. I know that it's been years in the, in the making. And I just want everyone to know that I'm here to make change. The vote comes less than a day after thousands of people gathered at a community meeting surrendered around the May 27th incident. For now, city leaders will only say that the investigations into the actions of the officers continues. In the broadcast center, Tanai Williamson, Cronkite News.